Shallan's known for her accuracy, so why the color change here? The end of the first day with Wind and Truth chapters 12 and 13. We got confirmation of some cool things, but I've still got some questions. Join my Discord if you want to talk more about them. And you can hang out with a bunch of my patrons, like Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi Carone, Gallant Aegis, and the Son of James. Chapter 12. The epigraph implies the writer is local to Roshar, likely knows Kaladin and Zeth personally, but didn't know why they were headed to Shinovar. The list of potential suspects is getting shorter and shorter. Party for Relaine, who bonded a spren! He and his boyfriend match. Sounds like Cal is saying a long goodbye. And he finally gets his Bridge 4 tattoo! <laughs> yes, I cried. Final goodbyes with Sigzil, Scar, and Lopin. Don't worry, Sig, you've got incredible things ahead of you. And a lot of work to do. Lopin's one-armed salute hit just right. Though it raises the question, what exactly does Goncho mean? At the Oath Gate, Nightblood wants pancakes instead of justice. I mean, I get it. Chapter 13. This sentence sounds like wit. And that would be fitting, having Hoyd document the culmination of the conflict he's worked so hard to meddle with. Though he definitely knew of their quest, so probably not? Unless they have a more different secret quest? Shadesmar crew get to the Oathgate platform in Azimir. The beads seem to really like Shallan now. Or, nope, it's Shallan's armor spread. There's the answer to both her hearing voices leading to Adolin and finding exactly the right bead when she needed it. Very convenient in Shadesmar to have a spren that can manifest whatever shape you need out of the beads. Here's my exact thought process as they got to the platform. It seems the awakening of the sibling has granted the Oathgate spren more, and I use this word with as much concern as I can and muster autonomy. Or actually it's a good thing? Maybe this actually came from Maya as she recently reiterated that Spren can choose and change is possible even for otherwise functionally immortal little pieces of a god. Oh, nope, sianat has been doing her thing. Enlightening. Still not sure about her, but I have hope? Though it sounds like singer warriors might just start popping up anywhere. They voip back to the physical realm and, yep, those beads are Shallan's very enthusiastic armor Spren. That's why only some of the beads around her reacted when she said her latest truth. Those were creation spren. They haven't been armor before, and they're struggling. Why the difference between her and Cal? Were his windspren previous knight's armor kicking around for 2,000 years? And there just weren't a lot of fourth ideal light weavers before the recreants? Oh, what if Kaladin's armor spren are the armor spren from Syl's previous knight? That would be cool. Radiant wants Shallan to pull a vin and cut her hair off. How do you tell the main character in a Sanderson novel? Paranoia. Kaladin arrives, and Shallan gives him and then Syl a hug, which is delightful. They swap intel, and Cal gives goodbye hugs. He hugs Adolin for longer. Guy love, that's all it is. They set a date. The four of them, jokes, laughter, and drinks once this is done. I get the feeling this is going to end up like Cap and Peggy. I had a date. They get ready to transfer to Urethiru, and Shallan summons Testament. No mention of heartbeats, so she summons it instantly like a living blade. A sword and shield both made of shards would be pretty sweet, and we've seen Syl be a shard shield before. Cal nicely quashes the Shaladin shippers. He approves of Shadolin, but Syladin is really gaining some concerning traction. And off they fly to the west. End of day one. We also get an extra sketch page from Shallan, who seems to be peeking into Shadesmar while at Urethiru? Cool. But why are seven out of the ten pairs of Oathgate spread black and gray instead of black and white? It doesn't look like it's just aesthetics, or else these would all match. And these two would be the same. Is this showing us which have and haven't been corrupted? The three still white are Narak, Thalen City, and Akina on Aimea. We know azimir has been touched, where they just came from. Kolinar definitely has, which we saw in Oathbringer. Yakaved, Eri, Rira, and Babatharnam are all under Odium's control, so it makes sense they would be. That leaves Shinovar, which we've never heard from or seen, so the fact that the spren here is gray is concerning. If there are indeed ten sections in this book corresponding to the days, we should be getting some interludes next week? Or maybe this is where Zeth's flashbacks will be placed, in which case we've already seen the first two. We'll just have to read and find out. actually recorded that time. All done.